Yo, what's up, my brethren? and welcome back to, well, another tier list <laughs> video. <laughs> so I'm, I'm liking doing these tier lists, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing them more because I like them so much. And you know, as long as I can keep finding a topic to do it, we're gonna keep doing it. And I, I'm, it's not gonna all be video games, but sometimes it'll be different. It'll be like, maybe it'll be like anime or or TV shows. We'll see, right? We'll see. But today. Uh, so, like, like uh, if you saw yesterday's video, uh, I played uh, Resident Evil again. <laughs> uh, I played Resident Evil 4 again. I started uh, Separate Ways, which is the uh, little uh, extra side story that you play as Ada, and you see what she went through during the whole story. And we started that yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. And so, like, I'm, I'm still kind of on the Resident Evil uh, <laughs> uh, phase at the moment. Cause you know we're doing we're gonna be doing the marathon, so I was like, you know what? Let me just uh, let me tell you, I, I, I want to show you what games we will be playing throughout the the marathon, and uh, I give you my honest to god opinion on some of these games. Now I have not played every single Resident Evil game. That's that's not possible. There's no way. I know I can do emulation and all that stuff, but there's just no way. I, I have not played every single one of these. Some of these games I am not ever going to play, and some of them I will give a chance one day. But, and other than that, just, I want to see what I remember, like, in my, my best opinion on these games. I know some of these games are kind of, uh, kind of a bit of a topic on some. I know some games are better than the others to other people's opinions, and it's like, but you know, my opinions matter too. So, <laughs> uh, before we start, like I always say in these tier lists, everything I say here and everything that I, I'm going to say in the future or the on tier list, these are just my opinions. These are just my own interpretations of what I believe these games are ranked. Anybody can have their own opinion on this. Mine is not correct, or am I confirming that mine, my opinion is correct? But, <laughs> but as I say, everything I say is correct. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so let's just get this started, man, because we don't have a lot of them to go off of. And I won't be talking a lot. <laughs> I won't be talking, like, going into demo dev into detail about these games. I might, who knows, I might. They're, they're all ordered. They're all from, like, I think, release date. Release dates, uh, so that's kind of cool. So let, let's continue. The original Resident Evil. Now, I have played this game. I've never beaten it. I played it uh, on the original PS1 uh, at my cousin's <laughs> when I was just a kid. And I could never... I, I never made it, and I never beat it. I was I was way too scared to play this game, for for good reasons, <laughs> for good reasons of, of the time and how young I was. Uh, never played it, but I've, I've I've seen other people beating it. I've seen other people play it, and even I've seen it go by itself. And I I have to admit, man, it's it's a great game. It, it's a it's a it's a solid game. Still. It doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up that well to this day, like like the voice acting and you know all those cutscenes. But you, you know, but it's, it's still a it's still a great game. Like a game to start. The first game that starts off in the series and it, and it hooks you. It really does. I and mean, like you 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 feel all that that scariness. This is how old Resident. This is how, this is how fans want Resident Evil to go back to to its roots. They want to go back to the Resident Evil times, the first Resident Evil game times, where it was really about survival, not all this gunslinging and, and action movie shit, which I do personally like. But I can see why. I can see why people want to go back to these, to these old times. It's it's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, for me, seeing, witnessing, I played it, witnessing it, everything, now that I'm older, I, I do want to go back and play the original one of this. It is actually on the PlayStation, but you have to do that whole uh, premium access bullshit, which I don't know if it'll be worth it or not. We'll see. Uh, but now that I know that it's there, am I going to play it for the marathon? We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see how time goes on. Resident Evil 2. Regarded as probably a perfect sequel, <laughs> and probably a, uh, probably a good sequel too. Sadly, I've never played this. 
and but I do I do want to play it. I, I I'm going to emulate this game, and I'm going to play it. <laughs> Finally, gonna play it. The most talked about game of all time. Probably the best sequel game out there. I'm, I'm going to play it. This, this is up there with like Kingdom Hearts 2. All right, I I am going to play it one day. And the same thing can be said about uh, RE, <laughs> Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I I am going to play it one day. I've never played it. I've never played the original version of these two, sadly. It's just I I, had never, I didn't have the, the way to play them as a kid. And you know, as, as a kid, Resident Evil scared the fuck out of me. Go <laughs> as a kid, so you know, these two really didn't appeal to me. So <laughs> as a kid, but now that I do. I want to play them also. But no, 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 no joke. I have seen. I like people play these games, and if I had to say it, two would probably be S, two two would probably be A, three would probably be uh probably S, probably maybe, maybe switch those two. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see how I play. I, it's been a long time since I've seen someone play the game, so maybe if I watch those again, or I, when I play the game myself, uh, I'll give that guy a good answer. Resident Evil Survivor. I have never played this game. I think it was a Game Boy game, or it was like, no, I, I don't remember. I've heard any games that I've that is here. I probably I've mostly heard of it. I think there's like maybe one or two I've never heard of, but other than this, I have I've I've heard of this game, and I think I've seen a bit of gameplay of it, but I've never played it. And honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to play it. It did look kind of weird to me. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go off of that. So. Yeah, never play it, and never going to play. <laughs> uh, Code Veronica X. So we are playing this game at the at the time of this video. At the time of this video, we are actually playing this game. And uh, by the way, the next uh, the next session for that game will be soonish. You'll probably get another video of it tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know. What day is it again? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get a new, a, a new Veronica video session soon. But we haven't beaten it yet. Uh, someone did tell me that I was, I'm close to beating it. And they also did tell me that this is probably the hardest part of the game. So it's like, you, you have to be ready. Because <laughs> there's like a lot of ways I can like soft lock myself out the game. So I gotta be ready for all that. Uh, but from what I've already experienced from this game, and what I'm going to experience going forward, it's it's uh, it gets a few points because it kept the original Resident Evil mechanics, you know, you know, uh, locked camera angles, point clicking, you know, all that shit. And the game, the, the game is just so hard. There's like there's hardly any there's, there's hardly any bullets to go around and. The enemies, the, the enemies do so much damage. The, the, there were there were times, bro, when bro a hunter can kill you in like two or three hits. Depends. Like, bro, like for real, one. I, I, when, I, when I was playing as Chris, one hunter, I was at full health. One hunter hit me once, and I was down to caution. This dude, this dude, Chris was like, was like limping, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, the, the game is like, it has a it has a bad balance of like. Of us doing damage and monsters doing damage and how much damage we can take, so I, I give it a C at the moment. Maybe once I beat the game, maybe maybe it can change my mind. But at the moment, it's a C. Gaiden, heard of it? I've never played it. <laughs> I'm never going to play it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do with that. Survivor two? I didn't, know, I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a two. <laughs> yeah, we can we can count that out. Oh, our Resident Evil 1 remake. Ah, okay. Now we all know. S. We all know. We all know this. Now the same, the same with the same with this game. Same with Resident oh, original Resident Evil. I've never played it. I, I played it. I played it. I've never beaten it. But I had seen my brother play it. My older brother, he played it. I saw him all the way through. I, I saw him play it all the way through. And dude. For a remake of the of the very first Resident Evil, God, it was it's such an amazing like to think that this is what they can do like a decade a, a decade or so later. 
and it's like it's amazing. It's amazing. It, it looks good. The cutscenes are good. The animations are good. The bad, the the monsters, the zombies, the boss fights. Everything was so good, and uh, it's a it's a perfect remake. It's almost a damn near perfect remake. So it, it gets the S treatment. Oh lord, this one right here. Ah, uh, zero. Uh, our, our here's an evil zero. You have to go to see. You have to go to see. <laughs> you have to go to see. Um. Nah. Um. Nah. You have to go to see. So yeah, it's 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 not good. It's not that good. It's around the same level of Co Veronica. But I haven't beaten it either. <laughs> I've beaten it either. I've I've only beaten the first boss of the game, and getting to that was pretty tough. <laughs> First of all, there's no item storage, so you kind of have to like drop all your items on the ground and just re hope to remember where you fucking left it and then go pick it up. And it, it leads to a lot of backtracking. And then you got then there's two people you gotta take care of, and like, Billy and Rebecca, and like switching between them and, and managing their items. Their, their items, like, nah, it's, it's it's not worth it. It's, but it looks good. It looks better than Ari. R R E one. So I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna say R E and the number for like for the remake. So I'm not gonna say Resident Evil whole remake. So, but the like, Resident Evil Zero looks way better than R E one, bro. It's it was it's a be it, it was a looking better game. It plays a little better. It's just it just doesn't have the right mechanics to make it better. But like, but it's it's, it's it also gets a few points because it's the prequel story, you know. Like, this comes before that, so it's like it's a good prequel story to get yourself invested. Like, oh, this is what happened before all this shit happened. But yeah, it's 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 not that great of a game. <laughs> what the heck is that? Dead aim? I've never heard of this one. No, I've heard of it. Oh, sorry. I've heard of it. I've just never played it. <laughs> Dude, the Game Boy game. <laughs> uh, oh yes, here we go. Resident Evil Outbreak. Both of them. Both of them. File 2 as well. S. We know this. We know this. Truly cultured Resident Evil fans know Outbreak is a great game. It is a great game that is underrated because people couldn't play online on the. People couldn't get a good way to play online on the PS2. Niggas were playing this game by, this, by themselves, dying because, they were, because the AI was crap. <laughs> the AI was crap. The game was super hard if you played it by yourself. And people couldn't really connect to online like that. <laughs> so, from, from back in the day, yeah, it was tough. So, but the game has so much to offer, bro. It, it was a great idea to show the story of Raccoon City in the perspective of eight other different survivors, which are canon, by the way. <laughs> and it's like... It's like, it's like, dude, that, that's a great idea. Like, cause you see, like, you see, you see Leon, Claire, and Jill, what they went through in Raccoon City. And you see these other eight people who survived it too. Like, what the hell they had to go through? And they went through like this whole, they went through like this this whole other game themselves. Like, if you combine all all nine chapters into into one game, bro, that'd be a whole ass game, probably two. Hell, every. Every scenario in these games is pretty much like a whole Resident Evil story, so it, it makes it even better. Cause like now you, got, now you got nine, and probably the best opening to a Resident, a Resident Evil game ever, dude. Ooh, I, I played it on my uh, on my uh, Truly Cultured, <laughs> Truly Cultured video, my, my very last one. And th these games mean a lot to me, a lot to my brother. He beat them all by himself, and I'm working on my way to beating them myself again. <laughs> and they're just they're just amazing bro you, you got if, if you've never played it please bro, just give it a try do not listen to what anyone tells you what the area that fucking tells you about this game please give it a try you will not regret it I promise you I promise you that and we know this one <laughs> and we know this one <laughs> Resident Evil 4 no, hold on. Before we forget this, I'm, I'm not playing RE0, alright? Maybe, maybe I'll play these two on the channel. Maybe. But you'll probably get like a, like a, like short videos. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna do full playthroughs, because those games are actually pretty hard by yourself, I won't lie. <laughs> but, but we'll see. Whoo, uh, RE4. I mean, what can I say about RE4 that I haven't said already, man? It's a perfect game. 
It's a perfect game. It go it goes in front of everybody here. That's for sure. RE4 changed the game. Changed Resident Evil forever. And th that was really the split decision. People, once Resident Evil 4 came out, people were split on on whether it was a good way to go about this or not. But most the majority of people I've ever talked to about this game, bro, they all love Resident Evil 4. And it's it's such a it's such a great game, dude. And man, they're they're doing, they're doing the remake. We'll talk about it in a, in a second, but the remake, I don't know, man. It's getting a remake. A perfect game is getting a remake. I don't know about how I feel about that yet, but we'll see. Is that Umbrella Chronicles? Okay, uh, it's a pretty decent game. <laughs> it's a, it's one of those uh, railgun shooters, and it worked. It worked pretty well, and it and it's uh, it it. It, it, it was good. It, like it like retold the story of I think Resident Evil one, two, three, and I think he also had like a little special special mission where you were like Wesker in in RE one and in Resident Evil one, where like he died and he came back to life and he was trying to escape the mansion. It's a, it, it, it was cool. It was really cool. It was fun. I played it with my my brother when I was younger. We both went through the game together. It, it was fun. It was really fun. It, it, if you ever get a chance, I played it on the Wii. If you ever get a chance to play it, play it. It was, it was actually a pretty good experience. Play, play with somebody. Play with somebody else. It's actually a really good experience. It's like you're playing an arcade game. <laughs> you know, like like the House of the Dead. <laughs> like House of the Dead. It's like, it's like that type of game. Resident Evil 5. Um, so, uh, we will be playing this game. Um, probably after we beat... Uh, Ver Veronica and Separate Ways will play this. Um, but oh, I think okay, <laughs> okay, maybe I was thinking. I think my mouse died. <laughs> uh, I got one of those. Uh, what's it called? The, the freaking plug-in mouses and shit. There we go. Okay. Well, RE5, uh, that's a tough one. I've only, I've beaten the game, but with my brother. I've beaten this game on co-op. And with co-op, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, I think I'd probably give an A as a co-op. As a co-op game? Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, I, would get, I would get home from school, and and me and my brother would just play it. And it was we played it for a good couple of hours, every couple of chapters. And then we we always get, every day, every other day, we always get... Ready to come and play again. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was a pretty good game. Uh, but we will be playing uh, this game. I will, I will be playing this game. Uh, after we probably be Ver Veronica in, in, in several ways. And sadly, I'm going to be playing this game solo. So <laughs> so I'll finally get to see. I, mean, I, I played the game a bit solo. But I'll, I'll finally get to see what the rest of the game is like solo. Uh, <laughs> so that would be, that'd be a good way to, to base this. But yeah. A with co-op. <laughs> for now. The Dark Side Chronicles, fun, fun. It's a, it's a B. It's, it's about the same as this one. It's, 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 it's the same as the Brother Chronicles, bro. But it did give a bit, bit backstory on, on some Resident Evil Four thing that we saw. It's a gives the backstory on Krauser and Leon and what they were going through. It was fun. It was a, it was a fun time, and I, and I respect them for doing it. The Mercenaries 3D. Uh, I played it. I have it. It's okay. It's. It's nothing to brag about, you know. Everyone, everyone likes the mercenaries, but like, I don't think having a full game for that really clicked with me. Not with me, at least. I, I still have not Who knows? Maybe I haven't played it in such a long time. Maybe if I give it another round, I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I might change my mind. But for now, it's it's so it's just an okay game. Uh, Revelations, yes sir. So, I played res I played Revelations. I haven't beaten it. I've gotten about halfway, and from what I can already, from what I've already played, it's 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 looking out to be a pretty a pretty good game. Yeah, well, at the moment, if I can just put it in the middle there, yeah. But I think at the moment it's a it's a B. It's probably a high B. I'll probably put it in front of these guys. A high B, close to an A. It's it's really good. From what I've already played, what I've already experienced, it's really good. It's a bit hard. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fun. It's fun to play. I can. This is like the the sequel to Resident Evil 5. So, 
or what what happened to uh, Jill after Resident Evil 5. So it's it, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I, I can I can give him that, and uh, we will be playing this game too. <laughs> uh, probably after you beat Resident Evil 5, <laughs> we will be playing this game too. So we'll get to see how that goes. Is that Operation Raccoon City? We all know. <laughs> we all know. No, no need to talk about it. No need to talk about it. We all know. It's a game that looks good. That's bad. It's a bad game that looks good. We, we, we don't gotta talk about it. We know. Oh, RE6. This is the game y'all have a lot of complaints about. I am one of the few people who actually like this game. There are flaws, but I do enjoy this game. I played a co-op with my brother as well. Every every story, every story, all four stories I played with my brother co-op. It was fun. I loved it. I ha I have to give it. I have to give it credit where it's due. Even though there are flaws, it's an A. It's an A, dude. Come on now. See people people saying this is where Resident Evil almost died. I can see why. I can see why. Trust me. It was. This game was really going for that action, action movie bullshit, which, shut up phone, which I do like, but it's, it, it did, it was a lot, it was a little much, and that, that can turn a lot of people off, it, it didn't, it didn't to me though, so, I mean, the Leon story, like, ha having Leon and Chris in the same game was revolutionary, uh, Sherry coming back, and she's a main character. And she's a character, a playable character now. That's amazing. Freaking, and all this new shit with Ada. It's amazing. And then how all these four stories, Loki, come collide to each other in time. It's it's amazing. It was actually pretty great. All the stuff you can collect. All the guns. The, the, the zombies were actually pretty cool. There's some cool designs for the zombies. And all the monsters. It's amazing. Uh, we will be playing this game as well. <laughs> All four chapters, all, all four, all four playthroughs. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> it's gonna be a while when this one comes, when this one comes out, because we're gonna be on this one for a while. <laughs> but uh, uh, until then, yeah, six is six is a six is, is a is a good game. Fight me. Revelations two, we all know. It's bro, I, I won't spoil. If anyone who hasn't played this game, I will not spoil what happened in it. It's a great game. There are flaws. There are things that make it better than, than, than Revelation 1. But this game, when I was playing it, man, I, I played it with co-op as well with my brother. And when I was playing it, man, this game legit gave me a big ass scare that I I, I I couldn't play the game for like a day or two. I was like, I was like, nah, 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 man. I, and it was hard because this game, when this game like released its content like in chapters, like over months, so so I, I waited. Me and my brother waited every every all all the time to get the new the new chapter of the game. We always and the second it came out, we played it, bro. It, it was amazing. It's amazing, and the story for it, it's it's great. It it, it honestly threw me for a, for a loop. Like I said, I won't spoil what happens in it. You want to experience that for yourself. I encourage you to experience that. It's, it was an amazing story, a great plot twist that got me in, at the very end. And just, 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 just trust me. It's, it's great. We will be playing this one too. So just so you know, Umbrella Corpse. I've never heard of this one. <laughs> RE7 or Resident Evil 7. Yeah, the game, the game that saved the franchise apparently. <laughs> RE7 is is great. RE7 is pretty great. It's it's a really it's a really fun game. It's it, it took Resident Evil back to his roots, and it was it was fun, dude. All the first person. Uh, I wasn't so fond of the first person when I when it when it was first announced. Like finding out it was first person, like it's first person. Like that might not be the vibe, and but it worked. It it it, it legit worked. And playing as playing as Ethan, cool. All the characters in the game were, were, were cool. Ethan was a little bland, but he, he was fine. He was fine. He, he, he was on a mission to find Mia, his girlfriend, and he just happened to get <laughs> involved with the bakers and their, and their bullshit. <laughs> but it, it was still fun. It was still a fun game. 
first person, the first person perspective really brought out all the scariness to it because you didn't know what you were, what you were going up against. You didn't know what you were going behind every corner. You you went across. Well, if anyone was ever coming behind you, bro, this game it scared me, bro. One time, it only scared me one time, but it was enough to make me stop to to pause the game for like a good for like a good ten minutes. <laughs> How fucked up it was. <laughs> How fucked up that jump scare that that jump scare was for me. But it was it was a great game, and all the DLCs that came with it, amazing. It, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Even though the, there was a problem with, it, with its variety of, of uh, enemies, but still good. It's still good. The story was pretty good too. And uh, we will be, we, we will be playing this one as well. We will be playing on SNL Seven as well, as and this DLC as well. So uh, uh, be on the lookout for that. R E two. So. Uh, RE2 was our first ever Resident Evil Let's Play on the channel. If any of you remember, if, 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 if any of you ever remember the, those times, uh, that's when I was still showing my face. <laughs> and well, it's uh, is it a good? It's a good game. It was great. It was hard as hell. It was a good game. It was hard. It, it was hard as hell. But it was a great game. <laughs> it pissed me off a bunch of times and. There was a moment where I, there was, I was like, no way I'm gonna be able to beat this game. <laughs> it gave me that whole stuff like that. There's no way I'm gonna beat this game, bro. It, it legit trapped me for like a while, but it redeemed itself. It was great. You, you all, if you were there when I, when I first played this game on the channel, you all know how I feel about it. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cut the, cut the summary up there. Resistance. So I, uh, Resistance was a, was a demo. When it first came out, uh, a demo came out for it. I never got to play it. Honestly, I, I downloaded it. I went into the game, and I looked for matches, but the matchmaking was terrible. It was, it was, it was like it was ass, bro. It was a two pack of ass. I could never find a good stable connection to anybody, and I never got to play the game, bro. It's, it's so. So it's, it's like it's, it's it low key should go down here, bro, because like I technically never played a single match of the game, but it, it looked it looked okay from what I've what I've seen online of other people playing it. Hell, hell, my brother actually got to play it. I saw him play it. I was like, oh, it looks it looks, it looks okay, but overall, it it didn't really grab me. Maybe if I actually got to play a single game of it, a couple games, maybe it could sway me. But at the moment, no, not really. And I know it came with, I think this came with uh, RE2, but I still haven't played it even then. That the whole demo experience fucked me over. Like, nah, I, that's how it's was gonna be. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time playing it. So, <laughs> all right, RE3. So, uh, so we we also played this game on the channel, <laughs> um, and it was fun. It was great. I loved it. I loved it personally. People say this is the game that uh, it, it it was good. It's just they wish there was more of. Because a, a lot of things were cut from this game, uh, from the original game, and uh, after, I, and when I saw uh, RE3, Resident Evil 3 again for the first time, for the for like the upteen time, uh, yeah, I, I can definitely see that they cut a lot of things from this game. It's going to be, but I can see they definitely did cut a lot of things from this game, and it's it kind of sucks because like when I when I when I did play RE3. I went into it because I never played the original Resident Evil 3, so when I went into it, I'm like, oh, I can finally, I can finally see what people were going through, but better. And and, and now that I think about it, I believe that that there were some things that did get cut out of RE2 as well, but it wasn't a, it wasn't as much as RE3 did, you know. Like with RE RE2, I at least got a pretty good uh, pretty good summary of like what these guys all went through. And the original game, but RE3, like all that stuff got cut, and so like I didn't, I didn't get to really see all that, experience all that stuff in the remake. So, but I can, I that's probably the reason why it's a B. It's like you did cut off all that stuff. But when I first played it, when we played it on the channel, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't really care about because I didn't know, but I didn't really care about what I, what I, what I was missing or what's there and what wasn't. The game was fun. It was scary. It was, it was exhilarating to play. It looked good. It, it looked better than RE2. It, it was, it was great. It was a great time, a great experience, and I, 
I wish that I could forget it and go through it again. <laughs> the same with RE2. I wish I could forget it and go through it all again because it, it, it was that fun. But yeah, B just uh, B just because it's a great game. Just it was a really short one that I got a lot of shit cut out from it. <laughs> That's probably why. Uh, Village. Whew, we also played this one as well. <laughs> and Village is a. I want to give Village an. Is Village an ass? I don't know. I don't know if Village is an ass. It could be. It could be an ass. It was. It was fun. It was really fun playing it, bro. It, it was like the RE4 of first-person shooters. And. Ah, oh, I, I loved it. I loved it so much. Oh, if you haven't seen me, I also played Red Village on the channel. Go check out those that playlist too. And it was fun, bro. Scary as hell. Great as hell. A great way to finish off Ethan and his storyline. And it, 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 it's got DLC. But it's got DLC coming out real soon. The continuation of the game. Uh, we, we can we get to play this game in third person view. A great, a great reason to, to go back and play Village. This game is gonna have third-person support now, they, like in October or something. That's great. That's so great. And then the DLC, dude, it's it's, it's amazing. That I want to give it S because the DLC that is, it's got planned is coming and it's gonna get VR support. It's amazing. Like I, I want to, I want to. No, it's getting an S. It's getting an S. Controversial, maybe, but it's getting an S. It's it, it it already set itself up for for success, and with the DLC coming in, it's gonna it's gonna push it through. Now maybe when that DLC comes out, we'll see. Uh, the the one with the one with Rose, <laughs> her, his daughter, well we'll have to see. But but the, just for just because the game is gonna become become a third person third person game now, you can play as third person. Which gives me a good enough reason to go replay this game from from scratch again is is great, and I can't wait to do it when it comes out. Maybe maybe I'll live stream it. Maybe I'll live stream, or maybe I'll make another. I'll play, I'm gonna do like a little video on it, but we'll see. Reverse, haven't touched it. <laughs> it came with Village, haven't touched it. Or the thing it came with uh, RE3, haven't touched it. I I will not. Uh, Put myself through that. <laughs> it looks, it looks fun. It looks okay, but it, it doesn't have a lot of things to go off of right now. So maybe there's like an update in the future. We'll see. I'm not. I don't think. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this game is even out yet. That, that's even worse than. <laughs> oh well. And finally, and we're here. RE4. Now, this game is not out yet, so it has to go down here. It has to go in there. Never played. We haven't played it yet. But in my opinion, what do I think about this whole thing? When I saw that trailer for the first time, I was I was blown away. I didn't think we were game resting before. I mean, it was a it was a game that was confirmed without having a confirmation. Like we all knew this game was coming. Capcom never confirmed it. <laughs> never did a damn thing. Never said a damn damn word about it, but we all knew it was coming. <laughs> but uh, it was like it was, it was, it was, this game was confirmed before it was officially confirmed. <laughs> I ain't never heard of a game like this before. <laughs> like, I ain't never heard of a situation like this for a game before. But in my humble opinion, I have played RE4. You all see me play RE4 here. We're also we're doing another RE4 playthrough at the moment. I have played Resident Evil 4. I have played Resident Evil 4 so many times. I've seen people play it so many times. And everybody, every time I see someone someone play it, their playthroughs are so much different than mine. This game has so much replayability that it's, 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 it's amazing. Do I think Resident Evil 4 deserves a remake? A perfect game? No. Kinda. There are some flaws with Resident Evil 4, but they're like nitpicking. They're like nitpicking flaws, minor flaws. The mo mo most thing people will tell you is probably Ashley's bit. Yeah, protecting her is kind of a is kind of a pain, and her her little part in the game where we play as her 
it was okay. It wasn't much, but it was okay. And it, 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 it really does boil down to her, because the combat in this game is fun, the exploration is fun, the guns, the enemies, oh, it's, it's so much fun. And then we're gonna have a, a re remake. I, I want, I want to trust Capcom. I think, I think that's the best word, Trey. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. I want to trust Capcom with this job, but the way they've, they've been handling the remakes, I mean, RE1 is a perfect remake. It perfectly captured what Resident Evil 1 was and built upon it and added more and made it better. RE2 was a pretty close thing. It was pretty close. They did cut some things out, but it was a pretty close uh, recreation of, RE2, of Resident Evil 2. RE3, they, they cut off a lot more stuff out of it, but though to his credit, RE3 was made by a different uh, part of the company. I think that's from, the, from what I've heard. So maybe we can give him some credit for that one. It's like, hey, you, you, I don't think you knew what you were doing. You weren't like directed properly all the way through. So we can give him that that credit. To so RE4, from what I've, what I've heard, I've heard the main people are working on this game. And that gives me a little hope. Like, okay, these guys know what they're going to do. These guys know what they need to do to make it good. But it's like, it's it's really like you're, you're trying to make a perfect game better <laughs> and I'm like that doesn't sound possible and so in my home opinion if I had to give this game a predetermined rank rank already I want to give it an S I want to give it an S just because I want to trust Capcom on this and I'm going to since I said it before RE4 will be our last last play on this channel. I I have said it before a few times already, and one day I will make a personal public uh, update on that. But as of right now, I'm telling you, RE4 will be our very last let's play on this channel. Once we finish that, this channel is done. At least like normally, you know, we, there'll be no more let's plays. Maybe every now and then I'll upload a video on on something game, but that'll be like few in between. There'll hardly be, be any videos on this channel no more. And RE4 will be our last our last game we play here. It, it, seemed, it seemed like a great fit. To end off this channel with the remake of one of my all-time favorite games, bro. One of my top five games of all time. And I, I want to give Capcom that trust. I, wanna, I want Capcom... I want to give Capcom my trust on this game. But it's hard. It's hard because I've seen what they've done. I've seen what they've done for RE2 and 3, and I've also seen what they've done in the past. But I'll give them my trust. I will give them my trust, but until then, this is a game that has never been played. And well, there you have it, guys. That's the, uh, that's the list. <laughs> it took a little longer than I thought we would, for like 40 minutes in or something. But, yeah, that's the list, man. That's, uh, weird. Maybe maybe you'll maybe you'll have some different thoughts about my rankings, but we'll we'll have to see, man. Like like for me, I still think Ari Resident Evil 4 is still the best game out of every, every everyone here, bro. Like, it, it 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 beats Outbreak, it beats Village, it beats uh, Ari One. It beats every single it beats every single game here, no question. And probably the worst game is <laughs> um, Operation Raccoon City. <laughs> we all know why. <laughs> uh, but, but hey, man, let, let me know, man. What what do you think? Or what are your thoughts on my on my on my rankings? Let me know what what you where you would have put all these games if you did this. Um, let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you would, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. You all know what to do. Uh, hit the bell so you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Check out my uh, social media. All the links will be in the description down below. And with that being said, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry for all the Resident Evil content. <laughs> I, just, I, I just love Resident Evil, okay? Sorry. Sue me. And this has been Vent Night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.